Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2016 Range Rover Vogue. So from any screen, uh, if you go to the telephone symbol here, like so, you'll see there, there's nothing connected at the moment and it's come up with a list of connected phones. So all I do, you see there, Barry's iPhone 11, delete, delete Barry's iPhone 11, question mark, yes, it's gone. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2016 Range Rover Vogue. Uh, first of all, we make sure that Bluetooth is on. So Bluetooth is on there, and we're keeping an eye out on the bottom here. But you can do one or two things. If you go to if you go to phone like so, there's no phones paired. There's nothing connected, so it's asking me to search new. Uh, or alternatively. You see there, that's the, the menu screen. I'll just go out of the menu screen. I'll just go on to sat-nav, the, the home menu screen there. Please connect device, please pair phone, nothing connected. So click, please pair phone, and we come back to search new. Just light my screen up again. Click search new. Vehicle to device is best because it generates a random pin code rather than you having to put a pin code in here and then go and type it into the, the unit. That's just picked up somebody who's going past. The Peugeot. And somebody else, but Barry's iPhone 11's come up, so we'll click on that. To pair and connect phone, enter 5678 on handset. 5678, and it's not usually like that. It's not usually a straight. Allow contacts and favorites to sync allow connecting to Barry's iPhone Range Rover connected phone connected so that's that done okay we can also uh, stream audio through the Bluetooth system in this 2016 Range Rover Vogue so from any screen first of all if we go into music here you'll see at the bottom Range Rover now if I click on that there's a tick next to Range Rover and you've got iPhone. That means that anything that's, uh, any audio that plays through your iPhone will come through the audio system in the Range Rover. I've got it turned down because the copyright system at the moment on, on YouTube is getting harder and harder. Uh, it's, um, so I, I'll not play any music, otherwise sometimes the, the, the whole soundtrack gets uh, struck off. So, over here, you've got the music symbol there, or you've got the home symbol there, and you can go into, that's, we'll just get it off the TV, and then that's back to the menu. You've got source plus there, and my music. At first, it's not immediately obvious, but if you click on my music, that's come to auxiliary, but there's a plus at the end, so you click plus, and then you've got the choice of all these, Barry's iPhone, iPod, DVD, stored, and so on. I'll just click that quick before it goes off. And that's it. It's showing there, Elvis Presley, Marie's the name, and Elvis Presley. So if I turn that up, that's what we'll be playing through this system. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat-nav in this 2016 Range Rover Vogue. So uh, from any screen, that's the sat-nav button here. But also, if you go on to the home menu, you'll see there sat nav is in the bottom right hand corner and if you click on there it gives you the sat nav screen or alternatively you can click on that like a little arrow in a circle and then onto destination entry destination entry easiest ones postcode we're grosvenor garage chorley road Watney Dell, preston pr defaults to numbers five it's a good system. Some of them, if there's only two digits, you have to put a space in, but you don't with the Range Rover. So it's PR54JS. Okay. Just asking you, that's, that's the postcode up there, and you've got to agree, and then click Go. Destinations nearby, please check map. We're sat on the forecourt, so just confusing it slightly. That's it, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.